Hello, I'm Nisreen. I'm one of the doctors in the clinic today. Can I confirm your name and the age, please? I'm Lauren Johnston and I'm 34 years old. Hello, Lauren. I believe that you are here today because your pain um, is not get any uh, better since your operation. Is that right? Yes. Can you tell me more about this? Um, the pain is really severe and nothing helps. I'm even u- I'm even using um, tramadol, and I'm really worried because your colleague has told me that I have endometriosis and I won't be able to get pregnant because of this. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that about your pain. Um, and I will I will answer your uh, concern uh, in a moment. But uh, can I just ask you a few questions just just to know more about you? Yeah. So can you tell me more about your periods? Uh, my periods are so heavy and painful, but they're regular. Oh. And do you use any kind of hormonal contraception? No. Or any contraception at all? No. Okay, and what about um, any problems with intercourse? Yeah, it's very painful and it hasn't happened in a long time because of this. Oh, sorry to hear that. And in terms of infection in your pelvis or from down below have you ever been diagnosed with any uh, like uh, PID or sexually transmitted infection no and what about your cervical smears there they came back normal okay that's fine and have you ever been pregnant before um i've been pregnant once but i had a miscarriage oh i'm sorry to hear that and have you uh, had any surgeries apart from the key for surgery you just have? No. Okay. And uh, otherwise you are fit and well? Um, I'm taking medication for IBS. Okay. And just since how long? Um, around three years. Okay. And is the medication helping your condition? Yes. And what about your family history? Do you have any family history of similar condition? Um, my sister has got endometriosis as well, actually. Oh, bless her. And how she's pooping? Yeah. Okay. So, do you smoke or drink alcohol? No. And do you feel well supported at home? Yeah. Okay. So. Lauren, let me explain to you uh, what is endometriosis and what, what are the effects on your fertility. So let me draw for you if this is the womb, okay, uh, it is like, you know, contains uh, three layers. The outer layer is just a membrane which is covering the womb and protecting it. We call it a perimetrium. And the middle layer is the thick layer uh, which contracts during the childbirth and during your period time we call it the myometrium and then the inner layer uh, is called the endometrium this thin layer as you can see this endometrium is the place where uh, when we get pregnant the baby will be implanted in this area and it is the same layer which can shed um, in the form of a period when we are not pregnant okay are you following with me yeah yeah so sometimes for uh, unknown reason this inner layer uh, we call it endometri- endo- endometrium sometimes we may find similar tissues of the same histological structure of this layer outside its normal place sometimes this tissue can be Inside the middle layer, we call it adenomyosis, and that may cause uh, the period heavy and painful. And sometimes this tissue can be even outside the womb, inside your pelvis. Like sometimes it can be in the uh, area behind your womb, or on top of your ovaries, or in the peritoneum, which is the lining uh, of your tummy. Sometimes even it can be in somewhere else outside the pelvis. What is the problem for uh, from this uh, endometriosis? And it's, it's the same structure of the endometrial layer of, of the womb. And the endometrial layer inside the womb is a hormone-dependent layer, 
which can grow under the effect of estrogen and thin under the effect of progesterone and if these hormones completely shut down this layer will shed in the form of withdrawal bleeding or period and the other tissues with the same structure of this layer which are outside the womb can do the same so it also can grow under the effect of your hormones and when you have the periods it also will shed and cause bleeding the problem the endometrial the endometrium of the womb has an outflow to go outside your body in the form of a period through the neck of the womb and the vagina and then you got a period but the inner tissues which are inside your pelvis doesn't have any way to go outside your pelvis so the problem that you bleed internally every month with your period and uh, that may cause severe pain congestion of your pelvis and tummy also it can cause um, tissues to stick together and scarring inside your pelvis and tummy and uh, in some situation um, because of this uh, like you know continuously adhesion and bleeding inside your pelvis uh, the uh, scarring excessive scarring inside your pelvis your pelvis may uh, distort the way uh, where the sperm can meet your the, the ova to to achieve pregnancy and that's in severe cases your tubes may be stuck to the behind of the womb or may be torted but let me reassure you that I have reviewed your uh, operation uh, notes which states that you had only uh, some endometriotic batches on behind the womb and uh, we did a, a patency test for your tubes and it came back normal so I just want to let you know that this condition is considered a chronic long-term condition and uh, since you are in the childbearing period your ovaries are producing hormones this problem will be there okay um, the issue uh, that we took already a sample uh, from this tissue and we send it for the histology which came back confirming the diagnosis that you have endometriosis already we were thinking that uh, after doing the, the treatment during your surgery that your pain will improve but it doesn't seem <coughs> that it helped uh, you at all so my suggestion is to refer you to the pain management team they are a group of doctors will deal with your pain and will find what is the suitable uh, pain relief for you and from my side also I see that you need a referral for uh, a more specialist team of doctors uh, we call it like you know, you know regional endometri endometriosis center there are uh, a multidisciplinary team of doctors consists of a gynecological consultant who has a special interest in endometriosis a colorectal surgeon as well and um, a specialist nurse specialized for endometriosis also they have pain management uh, team and um, fertility services in the MDT they also uh, include a radiologist who has a special interest on scanning cases uh, like endometriosis uh, we may need to run uh, an MRI in your pelvis just to be sure that you don't have um, this kind of adenomyosis I mean I've mentioned to you because you have uh, heavy and painful periods as well and um, since you are planning for a baby uh, you know the treatment options uh, if you are not planning for a baby we can put you on hormonal treatments and see how it goes uh, for a long time it can be like the combined pills uh, marina coil or even sometimes we may give you some monthly injection uh, to shut down the ovaries uh, for some time maybe three to six months but uh, if you are planning for a baby this option may may be not suitable for you but we can offer it to you even uh, for a temporary period just to relieve your symptom until you see the um, 
the endometriosis uh, multidisciplinary team. Uh, so if you don't mind, I can give you the combined pills from now. You can use it for at least three months. It will help your pain and it will help also the heavy period until you see the specialist uh, in the multidisciplinary team. Uh, what do you think about it? Um, that sounds good. Okay, that's good. So I'll, I'll do the referral now and also I'll prescribe for you uh, the uh, pills. Uh, so I will refer you for the pain management team and endometriosis center. Actually, uh, the, the, the treatment will be on the long term run if, if it proves that you have, uh, like, you know, uh, like, again, endometriosis tissue grown uh, in your pelvis, you may need a repeat uh, of the keyhole surgery. Um, and uh, once you, uh, like, you know, uh, completed your family, uh, we may offer you removal of the womb or plus or minus removal of your ovaries um, and that's the last last resource resort um, how do you feel about that um, I think it's fine okay and uh, I'm again really really sorry uh, for what you have understand uh, the endometriosis itself doesn't uh, prevent you from getting pregnant, uh, but it can increase your chance to get, uh, like decrease your chance to get pregnant. Uh, so if you are trying actively and not achieving it, you may need the fertility uh, specialist input. And that's why I'm referring you for the center because they, ha they offer also some fertility services. I'll give you the patient information leaflets for that and also I'll do the referral and update your GP about our consultation. Okay, do you have any questions? No. Okay, thank you.